finished product. of cooking with me so in today's video I'm going to be making my famous barbecue chicken and my favorite with some easy baked mac and cheese that only requires like two ingredients it's very easy and cost efficient so we're gonna just get right into the video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell share and if you're new welcome and thank you guys so much all who is supporting me all that is watching me taking the time out to watch my video all the way to the end if you are i really appreciate and love you and i thank you so much for supporting little old me it means so much to me and i love making videos for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy them as well thank you you can see i already seasoned the chicken um i cleaned it with water vinegar and fresh limes i washed it properly my complete seasoning garlic powder a little bit of browning i did four capsules of browning to add the color to it uh, a little bit of obey uh, black pepper and paprika so that's what's in here now that we already preheated the air fryer to 390 for three minutes we're gonna put the chicken in to cook for about 20 minutes and i did want to mention that each air fryer is different, so if your air fryer uh, requires you to put a lower temperature to cook chicken, I suggest you do that. Mine requires me to use 390 and to cook it for 22 minutes, but I actually did 20 minutes because sometimes the seasoning tends to cook the chicken or burn it pretty fast, so I did want to mention that. So now I'm going to just flip the chicken and we're just going to put it back in for the duration of the cooking time. Just put on some pasta. This is penne pasta. I just put it with some water, a little bit of salt, and some oil. So this is almost done boiling. We're going to take it out and we're going to start the process for the baked macaroni. You can tell when the pasta is cooked. If you take a little piece of it, bite it. You don't want it to be overcooked because you're going to put it in the oven to bake it. So try to make sure that it's semi-cooked, mostly cooked, majority, and then you can take it out, drain it, and put it in the pan. Once the pasta is done cooked, you're going to put it in a strainer. You're going to rinse it off with cold water to allow the cooking process to stop. And after that, you're just going to throw it in the pot. It's called ragu double cheddar. This is really good. This is what we're going to make the macaroni sauce with. So we're just going to pour this in the pot. Make sure that you turn the stove down because you don't want to burn it. And we're going to add some extra seasonings to it. Now that I put the ragu in the pot, I'm going to season it with some pepper, some paprika. This will add a nice foundation for the baked mac and cheese. Make sure that you season it. It adds a different flavor to the mac and cheese as well as I'm going to pour in some milk. Silk almond milk is all that I had in my fridge. You can substitute this for regular whole milk or anything depending on your preference, of course. So I'm just going to pour this in the pot, mix it together to make it nice and creamy. This is boiling a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of cheese, not a lot because I only have one pack, but usually you can use more than that. We're just going to put it in the sauce, but you're going to need to save the cheese for the top of the macaroni. This is going to be a simple macaroni. It's not going to be like the intensive ones that you usually see. So we're going to stir that in and let that melt and make it extra cheesy. For this next step, we're just going to take the cooked macaroni, we're going to put it in the cheese sauce. I feel that this coats it 10 times better and you're just going to stir it and mix it up to be cheesy. And then you're going to take your baking pan, make sure that it is buttered, and you're going to just pour the macaroni in the pan. And make sure that you pull it around all the corners to make sure that it is evenly distributed. 
You can use cheddar cheese, you can do Mexican cheese, whatever cheese you want to do, or the, the triple one that does it all mixed together. Just make sure that you cover the entire pan with enough cheese because that's what's going to make the macaroni nice and cheesy. So this is what the chicken looking like. It looks very yummy. The browning helped to give it this nice brown touch and nice color to it. The seasoning's really what makes it burn pretty fast. Overall, it came out really nice. Next step, we're going to take onions, peppers, and some scallions, fry it in some hot oil to start making the barbecue sauce. Now that the peppers are cooked, we're going to use this barbecue sauce. This is the best barbecue sauce. Make sure it's hickory and brown sugar. It has brown sugar in it. If you do find barbecue sauce with this brand, this brand is really good. So we're just gonna pour in, turn down the stove to medium, pour in your barbecue sauce. You can use half of it because you're gonna dilute it with some water as well. Take some water. Not too much. And then you're gonna start adding your seasonings. You're gonna add your black pepper and to add your garlic powder. You're going to add onion powder. I don't usually measure my things. If you need more, you can always add, and if you need less, you can always add water to dilute it. Then you're gonna use your browning, as like I showed before. Pour it in the cap first. One, two, three, four drops. Close that back up. Seasoning. That's good. And the key to the overall barbecue sauce is the brown sugar. So you're gonna take a tablespoon of brown sugar and a little half of that. So we're gonna mix this all together. We're gonna let this boil and let all the flavors seep in. Oh, I did forget that you do want to add a little bit of sazon. This adds a nice flavor to it as well. So you're just gonna add a little bit of that and add some pepper, a little more pepper. Then we're gonna add the chicken in. Another important thing is to not overstuff the pot with chicken. Um, I would suggest if you're making a larger portion, make more barbecue sauce. You want to distribute the chicken evenly throughout the pot. And then you're just going to cover the sauce over the chicken. This will help add more flavor to it and make sure that it is evenly coated. As well as seep in all the flavors and juices to help give you that nice caramelized finish at the end chicken oh it looks so good i wish i could give you guys some you want some this looks so delicious it looks like candy barbecue chicken wings amazing so we're gonna just let this cook for another two minutes and then it should be ready delicious can't wait to eat finished product So that concludes the video. Let me know down in the comments how you think the chicken and the macaroni turned out. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how good it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.